Welcome back to Metal Chopping Block. What a fantastic game, Nick. I can't believe our boys pulled that one out. Yeah, that was... Uh... That was a tough one. Oh, man. Tough one. Spain looked excellent. Uh, they kicked the crap out of us in the midfield. Yes. Pretty dominant in the first half, but um, our boys fought hard. Not every game's easy. You're up against a, a killer team. Yeah. We did well. You got to have two things. You got to be good, and you got to be lucky. You can't have either one of those. You got to have both. A lot of respect for the Spanish coach. He's a class act, man. Uh, the way he handled everything. He's a, he used to coach in Roma too, so he's known with a lot of uh, the older players as you've seen De Rossi, giving him big hugs, a lot going on there, but he's a class act, man. And Italy, let's do this. Rock and roll. Wembley, hopefully it's ours. No penalty shots, no diving, none of that stuff. Let's have 10 on, or 11 on 11, and let's have a good game. Right. Joe? Uh, our old guitar player yeah. is going through something right now. We're thinking about We're you, thinking buddy. about you. Our hearts are with you. This is for you, buddy. Deadly blessing all the way, brother. All the way, guy. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm going to be a gentleman like Nick now and just savor the taste of berry. <sighs> okay. And another special shout out to our friends at the University of Hull in the United Kingdom. Charles and Carolyn. Just wanted to say hi. And if you need some help with that, uh, that bacon-wrapped pork loin, Nick said we can set up a Zoom meeting and he has no problem giving you some tips on that. No problem. It's very simple. And you're going to love it. It's fantastic. And uh, all I ask for is the next time we're up in the UK. I'd love to come to the UK. Yeah. Buy a pint or two, no problem. Yeah, but you're going to love sure. that dish. It's fantastic. Take us around, you know, show us around a little bit. He's Canadian, by the way, oh. Charles. Yeah. One of ours. Cheers. Cheers. Sempre duro. So, we just want to thank our Facebook and our Instagram and our YouTube subscribers and watchers. We've reached 300 subscribers now and we're slowly reaching our goal. So, thank you very much. And if you can see the logo on the left or right corner, it's there. Um, just click on that and subscribe, share, you know what to do. Okay? Help us out a little bit. So, are you ready to start cooking? Yeah, I haven't eaten since this morning. I'm catching yeah. a bit of a buzz on right now. But hey. too, one of the things that we do, what, one of the things I do is I, I save my appetite. I go without eating all day long just so I can eat his meals. And you're always feeding me drinks. <laughs> I'm, I'm glowing right now on that shot. Good thing I didn't take the whole thing. I haven't done mine. I haven't done that one in another Something, one. Brother. We got something cool for the tasting tonight, too. It's a very cool drink. Wait till you mm. see a semi Really? <laughs> it's beautiful. You didn't tell me about this? It's a surprise? It's a surprise. Oh, very nice. I like surprises. Cheers, up there. Irons. Sandpit. Doodle. You know it. Friggin' awesome. All right, so we're going to start our first dish with the easy paella. So the first thing we got to do is we're going to cut this uh, chicken into pieces. We're going to put it into a bowl. We're going to put some paprika, oregano, salt, pepper, olive oil. We're going to add a little crushed peppers in it to give it a little bit of heat because the Spanish team was pretty friggin' hot. In the recipe, it doesn't show this. You don't need to do it, but we're going to do it because, again, to respect to Spain, you were hot as hell. So let's get to it. It's going to be friggin' awesome. So I'm using this knife today. I got this for Christmas. I haven't really had a chance to use it much. I know it's a little big for what we need to do. But today, we're going to play with this baby. You know, good tools are friggin' amazing. It's very, I mean, obviously you use what you're comfortable with and whatever you can afford. But man, if you save a little bit and you buy yourself a beautiful knife, what a difference it makes in everything. Just how it cuts. It just it, it ups your cooking to a different level. It's like a plumber doesn't use cheap plumbing tools, electrician doesn't use cheap electrical tools, they buy the best that they can afford and get, and it just changes the whole way they work. Wait, look at that.
So the crushed cayenne pepper is not in the original recipe. We're adding it in because we like a little bit of heat. So we're gonna cover this with plastic, put it in the fridge, and then go to the next step. For the next step, we're going to heat up two tablespoons of olive oil in the skillet. We're gonna zest two lemons. We got parsley, bay leaves, garlic, rice, chicken stock, salt, pepper, obviously the olive oil, and we're ready for the next step. But before that, somebody I know very well has said this before in life, give me peace, give me love, but the most important thing is giving my vino, sempre duro. So once you start chopping, it releases all the aromas. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Everything fresh is better. Most people already know this, but when they ask you to zest the lemon, all you're really doing is just using the skin. You're not using the lemon itself. So you, once you've zested all the skin on the lemon, put the lemon away, put it in the fridge, and use it for another time. Great in vodka, great in gin, great in a lot of stuff. The rice is simmering and cooking, so while we're waiting for that to happen, we have to chop a pepper, a Spanish onion. We're going to take the casing off the sausage and crumble it, and then we're gonna put this in another skillet, and we're gonna start cooking. Slicing into this sausage the way I'm hoping we slice into the English defense on Sunday. And again, as always, we're gonna throw in a little bit of wine because again, you can never have too much wine in your food. Last step is we're gonna put the shrimp in. 
We dump it in, stir it around till both sides are nice and pink, and we're ready to rock and roll. This smells oh, beautiful. So now what we do is we pour this on top of the rice, and she's ready to serve. So now we're doing the Italian dish. What we're doing for the Italian dish, we're gonna do grilled Italian toast. So you buy any type of Italian bread that you like, cut it if it's not been cut or cut it yourself and it has to sit in a baking sheet for a couple hours before you start cooking with it. The first thing we gotta do is you get two plum tomatoes. We gotta go to the grill, cook these till they blister and then we come back in. So let's go out to the grill and get these tomatoes going. So we got the grill nice and hot. Let it cool down to about medium heat, but you can get as hot as you like. We're gonna stick the tomatoes directly onto the grill. And we're gonna let them cook till they start blistering and we're gonna turn them once or twice. All right, so these look ready to come off. So we're gonna remove them, bring them inside, put them in the food processor, get them all blended and go to the next step. So while we're waiting for the tomatoes to cool down, I'm gonna mince the garlic chop up the oregano and get the rest of the toppings ready to get into the blender. Now I'm going to remove the skin and core the plum tomatoes, put them in the processor and put all the rest of the ingredients in. So now we're going to put the sauce on the bread, take it out to the grill, put them sauce side down onto the grill, turn them over, make sure it doesn't burn, bring it inside, drizzle it with oil, cheese, and oregano. Well, here we go. Meal is complete. Nick, this looks incredibly delicious. It smells awesome. This has been very painful to just watch and wait, and, but it looks like it's going to be worth it. Yes, so uh, tonight in our glasses, we have Jim Bean Black Cherry Red Stag Bourbon. Ooh. It's fantastic. If you guys can find it, Ooh. it's killer. So we'll do a little sip to start just to get our you're gonna like this simply doodle, mm -hmm. guys. Oh, mm. oh my god. Ooh, what a <laughs> bite. That's a nice flavor. That's very tasty. Wow. This is fantastic. You get a chance at your liquor store or wherever you get your booze from, you can get your hands on this stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. It's so good. Okay, so let's start with the paella. Mm. It looks fantastic. More? Oh, that's good. That's good to start. Pezzo de pane. Is that red? Ah, so it was the paella, and then this Italian toast is just here. Oh, thank you. It is friggin' beautiful. 
So, buon appetito. Sì, buon appetito. Let's see how we are. Mm. Very tasty. Mm. There's a kickback there. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow, she's got a bite. Mm -hmm. And it kind of creeps on you like creeping death. Holy smokes. Metallica creeping death. Mm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting all day for this. That it's been painful, but it's worth it. There's different ways of doing paella. We're going to do um, a more traditional one with um, mussels and everything in a later show. But this recipe, mm. I think this is more for meat lovers because the only seafood in it is um, the shrimp. And the other stuff, you have mussels and scallop and everything else. But this one, wow. Mm. The lemon zest and the mm. rice, oh, beautiful. Fantastic. So delicious. Has just enough spice that's not. I mean, it, I don't think it's hot. It's maybe, it's maybe some people don't think it's hot, but mm. very tasty. Oh, and you're getting the shrimp on this one. Try a piece of shrimp. Mm. Oh, Kill it. Mm, I want to try the spread now. Mm. So now this um, this toast looks fantastic. Let's give her a shot. Oh. Man, mm. it's perfect to go with a dish like this. But this is great for man. Oh, man! And to keep the continuity going, Nick has oh. got the, the colors going. Yeah, you White, red, and green. <laughs> you got it. Italy all the way. Wow, this is mm. a mad cut. So, who's gonna win on Sunday? Sunday's gonna be interesting. Um, we're going to do appetizers and drinks on Sunday, so we're going to keep it kind of casual. We're very really cool appetizers anyways. Um, Sam might post what we're going to make, I don't know, but uh, I ain't going to say anything right now. But it's kind of interesting. Um, as, far as, the, surprise. as far as the game goes, uh, the, only, the thing that worries me about England is, oh my god, this is... Oh, she's got a bite, sorry. Mm -hmm. Gotta put the fire out with some of this uh, extinguisher. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, with, the only thing I'm a little worried about with England is uh, their speed. They're a fast team. Um, if we control the midfield, we're probably going to dominate the majority of the game. But uh, who knows? They're playing at home. They're going to have all their fans with them. That's it's, it's a it's a big boost. But regardless, we made it to the final. I'm happy with our Both team. Both teams have been great. They deserve to win, hopefully we win, but if England wins, respect to them. They haven't won for a long time, so either way, it's been a fantastic tournament. We've had fun doing all the dishes, and we've still got one more to go. And we're going to keep eating, by the way. Mm. Sorry. This was... Oh, my God. Very good. Again, turned out fantastic. Hopefully, you guys try this. This is amazing. I mean, this is a heavy dish. It's great. Um, we added a little more spice than they asked for, but oh, what a kick. And as always. And wine. Well, the wine, yeah, we put some wine in it to make sure it's got a little Italian kick to it. But um, I'm really impressed with this. Mmm, very tasty. This is fantastic. Much. So, till uh, Sunday, good luck Italia. Uh, good luck England too, but good luck Italia. And don't forget, Logos on the right hand corner or left hand, I'm not sure. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you share, comment, all that stuff. We really appreciate it. And Dante, thanks for the tunes. Mm -hmm. uh, Sempre duro, it's friggin' awesome. And uh, giddy up. Here we go. Sunday. Let's Cheers. Do it. Cheers. Until then. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's finish this up. Let's, 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 let's dive in here. Oh my god. We're talking too much. We gotta eat. Mm. Welcome back to Metal Chopping Block. Oh fuck, there's the fist again. <laughs> what the <laughs> And we're doing an Italian grilled toast. So now we cover this with pat <clears throat> Prastic. We're gonna cover this with prastic.
I don't even know how to say that right. Ciabatta. Ciabatta bread. Is it ciabatta? No, no, no. Italian. I think. So while we're waiting, wait, try this again. Now I'm gonna remove the skin and the cores from this, from the... <clears throat> Rocco, do you need to go pee? Hang on, I gotta let Rocco go, go pee.